For possibly the first time ever, I actually looked at the bottle and picked out the proper glassware for today's beer. Oh! What? You going down, people of the world? My name is Redbeard, and this is a daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We've got a bottle of white by the Black Bellows Brewing Company. Yes, blackbellows.com. Go to their website. Check them out if you want to spend like three seconds on a website because this this is all it is. Like That's it. There's, there's really nothing more. They have some Facebook and some Instagram and some Twitter stuff going on, but that is a minimalist website if I've ever seen one. This is a Belgian wit beer. So I grabbed the wit glass. And it says, even, it has like the instructions. You pour, then you swirl, and then you finish the pour. So, it's supposed to get all that yeasty sediment in there. It actually looks pretty clear, but I don't think it will for long. Let's crack her open. That was a, an energetic bottle cap. Let's see what we got. Alright, so I'm going to pour. I'm not going to do what it says. It's like pour half and then swirl. That's not how I do it. I pour like at least kind of two thirds and then swirl because you get, you get more of a swirly action kind of going on there. I guess. I don't really know what I'm talking about. All right. Watch the change. That's uh, actually barely going to fit in there. Jeez. Wow. It smells kind of citrusy. So hopefully it's tasty. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world. Go to those who watch my videos. The beard loves you all so very, 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 very much. Yeah, really didn't stay clear once the uh, once the swirl happened. Definitely looks quite Belgian now. And like I said, there's a bit of a citrusy kind of note, maybe some yeasty presence as well. Of course, the yeasty presence. I don't really know. I always look for bananas in there. It's apparently supposed, supposed to be banana flavor, smell, aroma, essence. Give me a little bit of banana. Let's give her a shot. That's not too bad. It's got a kind of a nice sweetness to it. Not really any up front in your face, in your face, in your face yeast uh, stuff going on. Yep, that's some really sophisticated English I'm using right now. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. That's okay. Still not my style of beer. I gotta say that. Like, it's not... It's not bad, but it's still not anything that I would gravitate towards. Congratulations! You have just picked up Black Bellows White, our modern take on traditional Belgian wit. Unfiltered and citrusy with a hint of elderflower, it's highly refreshing. Enjoy with food and friends. Or enjoy without any food and without any friends. They are in Collingwood. I didn't know that. I've been... A couple breweries I should have went to when I went to the Collingwood Beer Fest last year. Dummy. Ingredients are water, malted barley, unmalted wheat, hops, yeast, and spices. Unmalted wheat. I don't think I've ever seen that as an ingredient on a beer before. Interesting. What's the alcohol on that? Five? Yeah, five. Five hundred. It's actually a 500 milliliter bottle too, so it's a little bit bigger than a tall boy would be. Which is why it barely fit in there, I guess. I have got... Black Bellows White up on Beer Advocate here, and it's another one of those beers that doesn't have a full score because it doesn't have 10 reviews yet. It does have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 reviews? 3.4 to 5, 2.89, 4.09, 4.45. Some guy wrote a massive review. Jesus. Oh, here we go. One guy here. Nope. Just way too subdued and frankly devoid of character. Looks okay. Hazy, honey, yellow. Night, that's really as good as it gets. None of the yeast, wheat, or spice you'd expect. Just a bland, bland beer, in that guy's opinion. 
I don't find it to be that bland. Maybe because I'm not a big fan of the yeast, so I kind of pick up on it more or something, but I find it's got a decent depth of flavor to it. I guess maybe if you went in to this beer expecting some kind of big yeasty Belgian craziness, then it, it could be... Uh, bland could be uh, agreeable, I guess you might say. Uh, some guy says it smells slightly skunked. I did not get that at all. Lack of carbonation? I'm getting decent carbonation under it. I don't know. My mouth doesn't agree with what people say sometimes. Rate beer, rate beer? Rate beer has an overall score of 53 and an 81 for the style. I really don't even understand what that means. <laughs> like, is that 53 out of 100? Because that's terrible. But 81 is pretty good. Uh, the scores are not great from what I'm seeing here. Hmm. I don't know. A lot of people probably would expect a bit more from it, I guess you could say. I find it to be kind of nice, though. Like, it's one of those beers that would go down really nice on a hot summer day in my opinion, which, as I'm finding more and more, is uh, not the shared opinion of a lot of people. <laughs> but hey, that's okay. We have fun. We have fun here. Untapped has it a uh, rating of 3.62. Apparently it's 13 IBUs. So I agree with that. Really not much bitterness, any bitterness to be had in that beer whatsoever. Nope, no better. Probably one of the most palatable Belgian kind of inspired beers that I've tried so far. This is kind of a nice gateway Belgian beer, you could say. If you like a lot of different beers, but you're not a fan of some, you know, you find something that's kind of moderate to get to get your foot in the door as it were that's a sentence that kind of made sense a couple people on untapped I got a five stars here huh <laughs> sorry oh I'm gonna burp now too <laughs> Jesus good times <laughs> oh sorry didn't get the uh, the most sleep last night I guess you could say Really, really didn't. Four, four stars, two stars. That's the thing. On Untapped, it's good for kind of finding stuff, and but no one really ever reads, like, writes up anything. Like, enough fruit that would make General Kitchener ecstatic. I'm assuming that person is somebody that is in that area historically or something. I really don't know. At all. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Yeah. Not really a whole lot more I can say about it. Decent. Not overly in your face. Crazy. Insane. Belgian style beer. Nothing really. I, actually, I didn't look for a date on here. Just give it some light here so I actually see the damn thing. Kind of, kind of switch things up a little bit. I got myself some light over here so I can, I can see what I'm doing. Yeah. I don't know why. I just looked at the glass instead of the camera there. I'm freaking genius. I'm not seeing any kind of date or anything on here. No, I am not. So that could be improved upon. I'm not sure, but I think may maybe the Belgian kind of yeasty beers can keep for a bit longer because of the way they're like bottle fermented and stuff, but don't take my word for that on that, about that. I'm not really sure. Just the thing I think.
Yeah, the sediment really didn't come down. It, just, it stayed nice and kind of suspended in the beer while the uh, drinking went on. There's like nothing really left there on the bottom. Drink number last. Black Bellows, your white. Very creative in the naming department, apparently. Rating. Mm, solid seven and a half. Maybe like bumped up to an eight, maybe, if there was some kind of date on it. You know, I don't see any reason not to. Even, even if it will keep for a while, it's still nice to know when the damn stuff was made. As with any beer. That's how I feel. And that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. If you've got something to say to me, put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A peace out! I feel like the vlogs without the facts are going pretty well so far. I'm talking more about the beer, and that's kind of what it should be all about anyway, so... You know, I still need to get the flow of things down a little bit more, but...